Ms. Tucker Johnson, and I'm with Nimsy Insights, and I'm here today with Caitlin Quiet today. I, I asked you how to pronounce that, but I probably already screwed it up. Welcome, Caitlin. How are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you? Very, very good. Thank you. You are here to talk to us today about the mentorship program that you are working on, um, specifically at Middlebury Institute of International Studies in Monterey um, for Miss, Miss, Miss or Miss? I've heard it. We say Miss usually, I we think. Say miss. <laughs> I, I usually say Miss. I usually say Miss as well. Um, really quickly though, today, Nimsy Insights, this, this stream is brought to you by Nimsy Insights. We are a market research and consulting analytics company that helps brands go global. You know, we started off in the language services industry. We've got a strong background in localization, language technology. We do localization process audits, all of that good stuff. Um, but really, recently, we've been branching out into more more outreach initiatives. Uh, we're doing more with education. We're doing more with other verticals. We're taking a look at sign language. We've got some cool stuff coming up about that. But if you are not already subscribed to Nimsy Insights, go ahead and subscribe right now. If you're watching this, um, you're probably subscribed, but doesn't hurt to check because these are pop-up events and you get notified when we go live only if you're subscribed. But that's it for my, my sales pitch essentially today about Nimsy Insights. And, but I don't want to talk about Nimsy Insights. I want to talk about uh, the mentorship program that you have going on over at Middlebury. Uh, just give us a quick intro here. What are, what are we looking at here? Okay. Yeah, sure. So uh, we founded our mentorship program. Uh, literally, gosh, it doesn't even feel like that much time has passed, but I guess it was at the beginning of this year in the fall. Um, myself and a couple of other students noticed that there was something sort of missing from the, and to clarify, by the way, TLM stands for Translation and Localization Management. Um, this is- Thank you for clarifying. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, there's something. There are a lot of acronyms at MISS, um, one of many. <laughs> so uh, it's a branch of studies, basically. You can major in translation and localization management. And um, we noticed that there weren't really very many good ways to connect with the amazing alumni network that we have at MISS. And so we noticed this deficiency and we created a program that would be able to maybe address that. And um, We've been going strong for uh, not even a year, but we already have over 150 participants and we are just, we just keep growing. It's so amazing to- 150 participants. That's, that's, yeah. quite, that's quite the turnout there. That's quite yeah. the reception. Yeah. It's, it's really incredible. We didn't even really think that uh, localization professionals would want to volunteer their time to speak with students, but- we've had such an amazing turnout from people. People have been so kind and so giving with their time. So I think actually uh, it's there's, really wonderful. Uh, you know, I, and I, I understand why you would think that way, you would say that, but I think there's actually a big demand for people that want to give back and they just don't know how, right? Um, I talk to people all the time about you know, like NIMSI employees and my coworkers here at NIMSI, right? And say, what are you doing to mentor people? Right? Like, what are you doing to coach people in, in your day to day? And I'm not talking about your direct reports. I'm not talking about that, you know, that person that you hired and now you have to coach them. Now you have to train them. But um, there's you get a lot from giving. Um, so this, this, I guess, is my plug that there's a link in the description, guys. If, if, uh, if you're interested in mentorship opportunities, I, I highly recommend it. Um, it's important these days to, to be doing something to give back, to be doing something to help somebody, because I don't know anybody that has made it very far in this industry that hasn't been helped by somebody, right? Absolutely, yeah. And um, as a participant of the program myself, um, we, we've made a rule specifically that uh, the founders can't participate uh, in fall semester, but if they would like to be mentored, they can participate in spring semester as long as the other group members assign the um, pairs. We just want to make sure that nepotism doesn't happen where we're just having, oh, you know, here are all of the cool mentors that we have and uh, I really like this person, so let's, let's go with this person. Um, and so this spring I was able to 
uh, basically um, be paired with a mentor who has not only helped me gain confidence in my abilities, um, but has in fact just advocated really heavily on my behalf. Um, anytime that a job was sent her way, she would say, you know, thank you. I'm, I'm really happy about um, with my job currently. Have you heard of Caitlin? Um, and I was able to get quite a few interviews um, out of uh, those connections that she made for me. It's, I'm just so incredibly so, grateful for my mentor. <laughs> who, who is this? And I'm sorry, I have confetti flying all over the screen. So if you're watching that, <laughs> then pff, technical difficulties here. Um, who is this? Before we jump into the comments, we have a comment from Autumn, by the way. Hi, Autumn. Autumn, hi. <laughs> Autumn Smith. Shout out to Autumn. Caitlin, Quia, quiet, sorry. <laughs> Kate, Caitlin, so lovely to see you on my feed. And thanks so much for, for to NIMSY Insights for highlighting such an amazing initiative. No, thank you. Because Autumn's working on this too with you. Yes, Autumn is an incredible human being, one of my favorite people in the world. And um, she also has some amazing student initiatives um, that she's working on, you know, Camp Loke and um, Women in Loke Miss, both amazing organizations. I've been to events with both of them and I've gained so much insight into the industry. It's huge value add. Awesome. Well, let's... Let's talk about it, right? I've got it here. I've got it all queued up. So this is the website. This is the, is, do you see my yellow duck? Let me get rid of yellow. Okay, no, you don't. Um, this is the website about the mentorship program. Have you considered being a mentor for a junior college or getting practical advice from an upperclassman or alumni? Join the TLM mentorship program, which aims to help students, alumni, and localization professionals build connections with peers and future colleagues in order to shape the next generation of the industry. We pair less experienced individuals with upperclassmen and alumni in order to forge new industry connections, share advice, and learn what's out there in the wild world of localization. That is quite the pitch. Spring applications are now closed. Check back in August. So check back in August if, if you're yeah. interested in this. What if I'm interested in this right now? Okay, what if um, I'm impatient? What if I want everything now, right now? Uh, great question. You can feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn um, and we can try and uh, figure something out. But uh, otherwise, you might just have to uh, bookmark the page and uh, just keep an eye on your email because uh, we often email with updates. It's possible that there might be a round that we maybe a surprise round if we get enough uh, interest. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely just feel free to uh, message me on LinkedIn and we can figure something out. <laughs> Good answer. So reach out to Caitlin. We got her LinkedIn. I'll switch over to her right now. I got her LinkedIn right up there in the corner. Bam. That's how you get her. So go connect. Connect with her anyway. Right? There's, there's no reason yeah. not to connect with her. Come say hi. <laughs> also, we got Winnie. Hey, Winnie. Shout out hi, to Winnie. Winnie. Hey, Winnie Hey is amazing. She does a lot of great work down in um, Monterey for helping place people, helping pl make sure that all those graduate students at the, the Monterey Institute get fulfilling jobs to start their careers. Um, have you worked with Winnie, Kate, Caitlin? Um, I You're have not worked with haven't. Winnie. I've, I know I've worked mostly with her colleague, Edie. Edie. Um, however, Winnie wrote this amazing blog post the other day about, okay, you've graduated. Where do you go from here? And it was such something that like, I didn't even think that I needed to think about necessarily. And suddenly I'm three weeks, three weeks away from graduation. And it, it really did hit me like, wow okay, right, I have to get on this. I have to, you know, update all of my information, make sure that I'm connecting with people. So it was an incredibly useful uh, article to read and I really recommend it. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's, yes, it's Showtime Act. Great, wonderful, awesome, fantastic post. It's Showtime <laughs> Act. So this, this, yeah. is, this is what happens on these live streams, Caitlin. We get sidetracked very easily. <laughs> uh, it's Showtime Act, posted on March 30th, 2021. T&I Careers Miss. Um, I'll put the link after this live. No, I can think I can add, drop this in the comments right here. So if you're watching this live stream, then I don't know if that worked or not, but we'll see. 
There we go. No. All right. Well, I'll I'll try to I'll try to put this link down in the comments so that you guys can go check out Winnie's um it's showtime act. So if I want to sign up, let's do this right now. If I want to sign up, there's nothing I can do right now. I can't I can't go on and sign up, but I can just reach out to you. What as a what as a mentor when I sign up can I expect? Um, what is the time commitment? Um, how many or who am I going to get paired with? Um, talk to me a little bit about. This. Sell me, pitch me. <laughs> sure. So it's all up to you. Um, we have mentors that meet with their mentees once a month. We have mentors that meet with their mentees twice a week. Um, so it is fully up to you. And when you actually sign up, there's a pretty a thorough process where we basically ask for your uh, pair languages, we ask for what you're interested in or where you end up uh, working or also um, your uh, geographic location, I guess you could say. So uh, where your time zone is. And um, we ask you to prioritize those as well. Um, we ask that you write a little bit about who you are, uh, what you want to get out of the program, and then using all of that information together, we try to make the best matches that we can. Um, we find that uh, the so most So you're actually playing matchmaker in this. It's not just like are. sign up and get yes. randomized. I, well, and how, how do you do that? Like, what makes a good match? And by the way, thank you, Nika, for putting that link in on LinkedIn. So go check out Winnie's article. If you, well, yes. Wait, no, watch this live stream. Like, very valuable <laughs> stuff is happening right here. So stay here, then go read Winnie's article. All right. Um, what did I even ask you, Caitlin? Um, I believe it was um, how the matchmaking me. process yeah. works. How, does that, how do you find a good match? Like, what makes a good match? Is it just, like, career choice, personality, age, background? It's a really good question. Um, so... On average, per round, uh, we usually have two rounds, but per round, we spend about four hours um, just sitting down and talking out matches. For students, um, so you can be paired as a first year student to a second year student. It's a little bit more straightforward because we tend to know people. So we'll go, oh, I know that person. They'd be a great match with this person. Um, when it comes to alumni or look professionals, what we mostly rely on are comments, essentially. So people saying, hey, um, I'm in this vertical right now, but I kind of want to switch verticals. And if I could meet somebody who's in that vertical or who's switched verticals before or gone from, for example, vendor to client side or vice versa, you know, those are the uh, most valuable things that we end up finding. Um, if there are no comments, we'll mostly just end up relying on, okay, so maybe you share a pair language and you prioritize pair language is one of the most uh, important things for you in the um, mentorship ranking uh thing for when you sign up uh or you know maybe uh they you are interested in project management on the vendor side and this person's a project manager on the vendor side so uh to that, a certain extent that there's to me that. has always been kind of like the biggest like sorting criteria for mm -hmm. for students is do they want to do vendor side or client side and right. kind of everything else kind of flows out from there yeah. And, but generally speaking, the, the, the students that I've talked to, at least by the time they get to the second year, they have very strong, like, opinions on do I yes. want vendor side or client side. I've, it's rare yeah. that I talk to someone that's undecided. So talk to me a little bit about that and how, how does that play into that um, vendor side? So do you try to sync people on, with vendor side aspirations with other people on the vendor side or mm -hmm. and client side with client side? Um, what about mm -hmm. the people that have switched? You mentioned people that have switched between vendor side and client side. Right. I'm guessing those people are in high demand. They are actually, yes. Um, and it's tricky. Sometimes people are very generous and they say, well, you know, um, I can take two or three mentees. And if that's the case, wow, thank you so much. And also, um, you know, it means that we can pair more people with them. Um, so that's very helpful. Uh, on top of that, I think that um, it really just does come down to how um basically how how we think that people are going to work i guess <laughs> um so 
I mean, if makes makes perfect sense, right? And you know, I, <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad. I would be very concerned if you had like an algorithm that matched people, right? Because with something as important and dare I say as intimate as a mentor mentee relationship, you kind of uh, you want to get it right. You know, personality, yeah. there's a lot of subjective issues in there that, that play into it. And not every mentor is a good fit for every right. mentee. And that doesn't yes. mean there's anything deficient from the mentee, certainly. And yeah. I, most of the time, I would say it doesn't mean there's anything deficient from the mentor, right? It's as long as both are going into it open-mindedly and open-mindedly with an open mind and really focusing on how can I bring the most value to the situation, right? Whether, whether you're the mentor or the mentee, whether you're the, the coach. Here, here's a question for you. What's the difference between a mentor and a coach? Oh my gosh. Great question. Um, so I sort of see a coach as a person who, I mean, arguably you could say that the terms are interchangeable. However, I would see Good. a mentor as it's a little bit more of a broad term, I think. So coach is like a little bit more towards, um, I, I associate coach with like sports, with like career coaches, things like that. Mentor can like also a goal. There's like a smart yeah. goal in mind, like getting you towards the goalposts is what a coach right. does. Is what you're saying, okay? Yes, um, and mentors can actually serve a variety of different purposes. So, a mentor can also be a friend, and a mentor can be um, a person who guides you in your career. Sure, but um, they can also be somebody to, I guess look up to like you're like aspire to be to so they have to extent. be tall is what you're saying yes absolutely it's a requirement sorry <laughs> they have to be tall. well yeah you know i struggled with this concept of coaching and mentorship and i've always had I've always been conflicted about it. One of my previous companies, there was a strong culture of coaching, like the senior management, the C-suite, the CEO had a coach um, that was paid for their services. And um, yeah, and I don't know, I haven't put my finger on it. Just something just doesn't really sit right with me about paying for coaching. And it, hey, hey, if you're a coach and that's what you make your money on, more power to you. Uh, respect. If you are a coachee, a mentee, and you are paying a coach, good for you. Keep doing it. Keep doing mm -hmm. it because I think we can all get that. It's not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is me personally, I've, I've struggled with this because inherently a coach is someone above. Um, it's in a position of authority. A coach has the power to put you on the bench. The coach mm -hmm. has the power to put you in the game. Right. And I, I just don't like that. I, I never like that. So it never really sets well with me. And what I used to say uh, typically was like, I don't want to be a coach, but I'll be a friend. Right. Like, don't look for a coach, look for a friend. But, you know, not everybody just has like a bunch of friends with a ton of experience um, around. I, I'm very blessed. I've, I've been blessed with great managers in my in my career that have since m morphed into friends. So I don't I don't. I mean, I get coaching every time I talk to my business partner, Renato, right? But um, nowadays, I should say I'm becoming a little bit more comfortable with this, with this concept of mentoring. I still don't like the word coach. And that's why I say, if you're not mentoring, if, if you've got some years in the industry, you've got some experience, if you paid your dues, if you've been helped if you've by anybody in your career, then... There's no time like the present. Start paying it back and become a mentor today. And Caitlin, I don't think, I think you're too busy. For, you're not taking on new mentors and coaches, but you're moving off there into the next step for you, which I'm, I'm not going to put you on the spot until <laughs> I make you say what that is um, on, on live here. But there are very exciting things coming up for Caitlin. And I am very, I don't want to say proud of you, but I am very, um, because once again, that's a, that assumes the position of power. I'm not proud of mm -hmm. you. Um, I am happy for you, let's say. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm happy for the world because when I see good people, smart people getting good, good jobs and opportunities, it means that there are still some justice in the world. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I think that probably I will be a mentor in the future. Um, most likely I'm going to try and I guess 
I'll, I'll have to sign up using my own form that I created. It's kind there of a funny go. feeling. Yep. But um, I, I, I fill out my own forms at Nimsy all the time. In fact, <laughs> Nika, Nika is waiting for me to fill out a form for her if she's still lurking in the comments. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really um, 100% believe in the program that uh, we created. And I am so happy to I would, I would just, I, I would, I'd feel remiss almost to not be a mentor. It feels, it feels, it doesn't feel right. I'd, I would really feel like I'd be missing out if I wasn't a mentor. And I would absolutely agree with you. You would be missing out. So what else, what else we got? Because I will close this up, Caitlin, uh, unless you had any other burning issues. When are you coming back? August? Are you going to come back and do a live stream with me in August when you start accepting applications? Yeah, if you'd like, yeah. Or um, we're actually passing on the mantle uh, per se to our um, successors. Uh, shout outs to Luke Paustian and Naomi Stock. Um, oh, shout outs. I love shout outs. Yeah, yeah. Because I can um, tag you in the post. So <laughs> beware, yeah, Luke. Yeah, yeah. And well, who's the other person? Naomi Stock. Naomi mm -hmm. Stock and Luke. Right. Yep, keep, keep an eye out. Um, and... I'm sure that uh, if you, you know, add, add me on LinkedIn, add one of them on LinkedIn, add somebody from Miss on LinkedIn, um, you're you going to hear about signups. Yeah, so. I've, got, I've got you all <laughs> queued up right here. So Caitlin, quiet right here on LinkedIn, LinkedIn forward slash IN forward slash C quiet, Q-U-I-A-T. Go follow Caitlin. Um, interesting, good stuff in store from her. And with that... I think it's time to start playing this out here because sounds good. We did what we did. We talked about <laughs> the this great program that you have. I will continue encouraging people though out there get 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 a mentee. Help somebody, give back, do something without profit motive. Um, and it is an incredibly rewarding experience. If you're out there looking for a mentor, um, contact Caitlin. She'll hook you up. She's playing the matchmaker contact me you know i'm always i'm always accepting applications for new friends let's put it that way maybe not for new mentees but for new friends and i like talking to people so reach out to me too and with that big thank you to caitlin i'll give you the applause that i was trying to do earlier <laughs> thank you thank you for thanks coming for having here. me yes ma'am and we will see you next time until then everybody out there have a great day ask good questions do hard things and I really need a tagline to end this put in the comments if you can think of a tagline a catchphrase maybe maybe you can help me come up with a catchphrase after this Caitlin sounds good ciao